students today we're going to do an activity related to prime and composite numbers but before that let me tell you what is the meaning of prime number and what is the composite number a prime number is a number which have exactly two factors like two two is having only two factors like one and two so this is a prime number exactly two factors we need not less than two not more than two three like one and three so this is also a prime number it have only two factors so what we conclude from this that the numbers which have only two factors one is one and other is the number itself in case of two it is two in case of three it is three so one and the number itself then that number is known as prime number and let me tell you about the number one it have only one factor that is one only so we cannot say it is a prime number okay so and now what is a composite number a composite number is a number like four which have at least three factors means more than two we require okay more than two factors like one two four it have three factors so it is a composite number now one is not prime is it composite it is also not composite because we need at least three factors for this so one is neither prime nor composite we can say okay so these are prime numbers which have only uh, two factors one is the one itself one and the number itself composite number the number which have more than two factors okay now we're going to start the activity related to prime and composite numbers without actually checking the factors of a number we can find prime numbers from 1 to 100 with an easier method this method was given by a greek mathematician eratosthenes in the 3rd century bc so let us understand what is the method and how we can find out the prime numbers in that so for that we need some material that you can see i have written here squared paper this thing this we call it as squared paper or you can use graph paper as well if you don't have that second one we going to use the glue stick and uh for this we going to use two colorful pens one is uh, blue and one is black i have and of course to cut something we going to use the scissors so what we need to do for this first of all we'll take a 10 by 10 grid from this 10 is the length and 10 is the breadth we can count the boxes and we can take a 10 by 10 grid from this and we can write the numbers 1 to 100 as i'm going to show see i have cut this 10 by 10 grid from that paper now you can see i have written all the counting from 1 to 100 like this 1 to 10 and then 11 to 20 and so on till Hundred and I have pasted this on the plain side of the file. Now, how to find out the prime numbers from one to hundred? As it is told by the mathematician Eratosthenes. Okay, the so name is little tougher, so we can pronounce it Eratosthenes. Fine. So now, what to do? First of all, we will cross out one. because it is not a prime number we going to cross one as it is not a prime number with a different color as you can see i have written it with the uh, blue color and i am crossing it with the black color okay this is a, a black and pink pen and after this we will encircle two and cross out all the multiples of two why because you know that all the multiples of 2 are dividing by 2 and but obvious the other numbers other than 1 are always having two factors like 1 and the number itself and if they are all 
also have the factor as 2 so they can't be the prime numbers so I'm going to cross the numbers which are not prime so first of all I'm just encircling 2 okay starting it from 2 because there is no other factor of 2 because we are starting from 1 1 is a special number as it is not prime and uh, even not uh, composite so 2 we have encircled and we're going to cross all the multiples of 2 uh, now what are the multiples of 2 as uh, 2 to the 4 if we can do that so we need to cross this then 6 then 8 then 10 12 14 in this way going we're going to cross every number which is a multiple of 2 now you can see I have crossed all the numbers which are multiple of 2. You can see I have crossed this complete column, this, this, this and this. Okay. So total uh, leave 2 and other. These columns have been cut by me as they are the multiples of 2. Every alternate number is the multiple of 2. Now next number is 3. Okay. So what to do? You will find that the next uncrossed number will be 3. So we need to encircle this number and we need to cross out all the multiples of 3 other than 3 itself. Okay, as earlier we have done, we have left the 2 and similarly the next number is 3. So we will just encircle it and we will cross all the numbers other than 3 which are multiples of 3. Okay, so what are these? Some are maybe you can find they are already cut. 3 to the 6, 3, 3 is a 9. So 6 has already been cut. So we need not to put the cross again. So we can put the cross on the next number. 3 4s, 3 4s are 12. And then 3 5s are 15. So in this way we can cut all the multiples of 3. So now you can see I have crossed all the numbers which are the multiples of 3. Like 99 I have cut. This is the last number which is the multiple of 3 till 100 okay so now the next uncrossed number you can see is 5 so I'm encircling 5 and on the similar basis I'm going to cross all the multiples of 5 other than 5 so first is 5 5 we need not cut 5 to the 10 5 to the 15 5 to the 20 5 to the 20 5 to the 25 so these till 20 already cut now 25 I have cut so similarly I am going to cut all the numbers which are the multiples of 5 now the turn comes of the number 7 ok so 7 I have encircled and we are going to cut we are going to cross all the numbers which are multiples of 7 other than 7 and we are going to continue this process till all the numbers in the list here 1 to 100 are either encircled or crossed out at the end all the encircled numbers are prime numbers and all the crossed out numbers other than one are composite numbers so this is the method given by Eratosthenes which is called sieve of Eratosthenes now you can see here we have crossed the numbers and some are encircled. So the number again I am saying which are encircled are called prime numbers and which are crossed out other than 1. Let me cross the number 1 with this orange color. So as it is neither prime nor composite so I am keeping it separate. So all the cross numbers are composite these are prime. Okay, let us count now how many prime numbers are there till 1 to 100. Let me count the encircled numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So you can also find it by this method. So all 25 numbers which we have just counted are the prime numbers. So you can see the observation we have very uh, neatly here written that there are total 25 prime numbers between 1 to 100. What else is here? 
so we have observed other things also the first thing is one is neither prime nor a composite number we have get this second thing is two is the only even prime number if you just look for the pr prime numbers which are encircled two is the number which is the only the even number and is prime all other numbers are which are encircled are prime but odd only okay so two is the only even prime number so 25 prime numbers are there between 1 to 100 4 next thing if we have 25 numbers which are prime from 1 to 100 then how many are composite some students always answer that 100 minus 25 so 75 are the composite but remember one is neither prime nor composite so how many composite numbers are left so we left with only 74 composite numbers from 1 to 100 now there is also one more very good result or you can say observation comes out after doing this activity there are seven consecutive composite numbers less than 100 between 89 and 97 what does it mean you can see here that if we check from 89 to 97 here all the numbers after 89 before 97 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 they continuous there are seven numbers which are crossed before between 1 to 100 there are no place where you can get more than these numbers which are crossed continuously okay so what we can say there are seven consecutive composite numbers less than 100 because the crossed ones are composite numbers between 89 and 97 and these are what, what these are these are 90 91 92 93 94 95 and 96 so this is a very important and interesting observations we have written including the last one is also very interesting so i hope you have enjoyed this activity you also have to do this activity in your files the written part similarly i have written you have to do this in your written part and this activity you can do and paste on the plain side of your file okay thank you so much students